Sometimes size really does matter. What am I talking about? Let's jump into this together and I'll explain. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to talk about expanding the bed of your K40 CO2 laser. So one of the things that uh, I wanted to do here is do some upgrades to this K40. I've got actually a couple K40s. Uh, and this one I've left pretty much stock for a while, but I'm now ready to do some upgrading to it. And one of the things I want to do is increase my operating bed area. And that's what I want to talk to you guys a little bit about today. So one of the first things that I did is I actually had to cut this out with uh, a bunch of cutting wheels. So I've used a bunch of these. Now I've run up in the corner. Took about five of these to cut through this with my uh, handy knockoff Dremel saw here from Harbor Freight. Uh, but it did come out uh, well. Again, I'll be running a some, uh, video up in the corner of cutting it out. So again, safety glasses are recommended. And as you can see here, many times the laser actually went over and would cut into this uh, piece. and this just really got in the way. So if I put this here, you can kind of see how, how, how far it intruded into the bed area. Now removing this, this gives me about 14 inches this way and about 12 inches this way, a little short of 12 inches this way. Uh, I have ordered a honeycomb bed. I am going to go upgrade this to a honeycomb bed and I'll do a separate video on that. Uh, as well as some pieces of how I'm going to mount that. Uh, but one of the things that after I did this cut, uh, it was, you know, you can see the rather jagged edges. I used a little grinder to, you know, kind of soften it up a little bit. What, however, what I did is I actually 3D printed this piece now that I'll place uh, over top of this. Such as that. And now the advantage here is when I'm working in here, what have you, I'm not going to run the risk of cutting my hands on these sharp edges and that kind of stuff. And plus it actually looks nice. So I'll have this out on Thingiverse. So if you're interested in doing this, making this modification, you can just print this out and put this on here. The other piece, while you're cutting it out, you want to kind of keep all this stuff covered. So, uh, you know, put like a damp cloth over it or something like that. And the reason for the damp cloth is it's obviously going to be throwing sparks, as you can see in the video. So you kind of want to protect all this, but you don't want to start your uh, rag on fire. So this is one of the first mods I'm going to make to really increase that bed size. So I'm excited about it. Uh, on my other K40, it's a little bit different version. This piece actually had two screws and I could just simply remove it from the back. This one, unfortunately, is spot welded into place. Um, so again, that's why I had to cut it out physically. Uh, but anyways, uh, again, I'll be doing some more mods. I think as you saw over there, I did... Uh, you know, upgraded the potentiometer for the intensity control. I'm still kicking around if I'm going to convert this to garble and use light burn or just stay with the K40 Whisperer. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what are your thoughts. Should I upgrade it to garble? Should I stay with K40 Whisperer? Um, I don't know yet. Because uh, like I say, I've got another one that I have done the garble modification on and I'm using the light burn with it. And I really like it. I really like laser uh, K40 Whisperer. Uh, but two, you can't draw on it like you can light burn, which is really neat, so kind of 50-50. But I think the K40 Whisperer does a better job uh, with regards to rastering. So again, let me know in the comments below. Uh, Swag Shop's going to be up in the corner. Subscribe over there, and we'll catch you guys in the next video where we do some more upgrading to this bad boy. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.